Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are in the Amagi on Two Brothers and hopefully you guys are ready to enjoy because I've got some fun for you. That being said, I was feeling a little timid at the beginning of this match. Um, Two Brothers is kind of, I like the map in general, but it's kind of a mixed bag for me because it seems like nothing ever seems to go to my plan on this map. And you'll see that as soon as this map starts, the destroyer on my side decides, ah, I don't need to go out and spot on this side. I'm just going to run away, go wherever I'm going. And we have three destroyers. And all three of our destroyers are going to like go huddle together and, and rub each other and tell each other sweet nothings it's disconcerting to say the least ship shouldn't act that way <laughs> but, but it's what happens and with each match things are different than you'd want them to be and that's part of the fun of these games is overcoming the shortcomings of your team because let's be real there are a lot of shortcomings on your teams <laughs> and it can be frustrating you all know my salty spartan i'm no i'm no saint when it comes to being frustrated and i get frustrated at the end of this one as well and i let my teammate know exactly what i thought of him <laughs> as you guys can like fill in the blanks Attention. when we get there but don't get ahead of me don't you skip the video i promise this does get interesting or at least entertaining. Either or. So you know on Two Brothers, or really any map, when I'm in a battleship, I like to use my range. I don't like to get up in there until I absolutely need to. Because there are bad guys with torpedoes that like to kill me. Bad guys with torpedoes are no good for big, fat, slow battleships that can't turn. Especially dispersion build battleships like my Iowa and my Amagi and any other battleship that I run except for the Tirpitz at the moment and the Scharnhorst. They tend to struggle avoiding torpedoes unless I know that they're there. So you'll see me do a whole lot of uh, interesting maneuvers and there is the, the Vanguard almost getting obliterated right off the bat by an entire wall of absolute skill but I was trying to tell him dude there are just me you and a cruiser over here this is not a good plan but then as you start to watch you realize the enemy team isn't out here there's a destroyer out here obviously but the rest of the enemy team is at their base So, I am sizing up the enemy Colorado right now. I'm like, oof, if he gives me a broadside, I am going to make him miserable. Now, that being said, he's given me enough of a side that I actually have a chance to citadel him here. Will I pull it off? No, but we get some nasty penetrations, taking our damage up to 17,000 already. So, you can kind of get a feel for where this is going. I already know that if that's... Th this is one of the easiest battleships to one-shot because it is so easy to citadel multiple times. It's not fast. It's a big target. It's got enough armor that you don't over-penetrate unless you hit the bow armor. And then you over-penetrate four times. <laughs> but it's fine. Now, I start feeling a little torpedo awareness going on in my loins, so I start backing up. This guy ain't looking at me, so I figure I'm pretty safe. And as I say that, those guns start looking my direction. Unfortunately for him, it's a little late for that. <laughs> as he loses a good chunk of his health and now has very little left. But you know, sometimes when people make mistakes, they just keep making them. And we'd be rude not to oblige him. He obviously wants to die, so we go ahead, 
fire off the salvo, he knows he's a dead man, and down he goes. You know, it'd be rude if we didn't, you know, give him what he wanted. If you're gonna pull out, broadside on, in a battleship, to every other battleship on the enemy team, you are going to die. That's exactly what's going to happen. Nine times out of ten. So, in lightly armored cruisers and destroyers, you can afford to be broadside on to big guns. Because they're likely to overpin you. Probably not going to sit it on you. It's definitely not good practice because all it takes is one or two citadels and your lightly armored anything is dead. Battleships, it takes a little bit more of a beatdown. But, <laughs> as you can see, it is very devastating to be hit and citadeled by 16-inch guns. Ask the Miyoko, which for some reason is another one of those ships that just loves to be citadeled. And I think it's a combination of the fact that it has just enough armor that we don't score over penetrations as often. And I have one-shot at Miyoko's so many times. Now, that wasn't technically a one-shot. Sure, I shot him one time and he died. But he had already lost some health. But Miyoko's are very, very easy to Citadel multiple times, even with battleships. And here you can see our little course correction that we made was enough to throw off the potential torps and we live now vanguard new orleans and i have realized i apologize i don't know why i'm yawning it's pretty early so it's pretty ridiculous and i still have two hours of streaming with bullby to go so i'm not exactly sure why i'm yawning here but maybe i'm dying and i don't know it yet we <laughs> have realized that we have the advantage and we have pushed these guys back and now hello new orleans how you doing sunshine hold these for me really really <laughs> come on we go from killing a freaking miyoko to not even hitting the New Orleans. I think we hit him with one shell, got over penetration for next to nothing. We're at 98,000 damage. Come on, game. Give me a little bit of a help. Surely you will let me hit him this time. Right? Yep. And we get the Citadel. Of course we would. <laughs> it's okay, though. There is a Colorado left and two destroyers. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I've been, up to this point, been pretty good about not getting torpedoed. And our cruiser, who is with us, presumably the New Orleans, has kept us, well, at least this time, with the advanced warning that they're coming. Which helps! Problem is, in a moment, I'm gonna forget that he dies. Okay? And when you forget that your cruiser buddy dies, you forget that there's no longer hydroacoustic running. And when you forget that there's no longer hydroacoustic running, you're going to eat a bunch of torps because of it. <laughs> so, uh, get ready for that. But as you can see, we have the match well in hand. We are in the enemy base. Yes, there are destroyers here. So we have two destroyers to worry about. We have the Colorado. And we are capping their base. Well... As soon as it becomes uncontested, there we go. We are now capturing their base. Now you see I turned to bow tank the smoke screen. Because generally speaking, where is the destroyer at? The giant smoke screen? <laughs> so I'm assuming that by sailing towards this, I am minimizing the likelihood that I actually take multiple torpedoes. And right now we have this New Orleans with us. And we are fine. And if I had to guess, I'd say that he no longer has hydroacoustic running. This usually lasts, what, about a minute and a half, something like that. And you can see I'm kind of trying to get shots on their Colorado, but he's too far outside my range. And then we get this nice little shot at the Fletcher, and he misses all of, our tor all of his torpedoes, which is preferable. 
you know being able to to dodge torpedoes because you know they're coming is is nice however there's a second destroyer out there folks and I'm tunnel visioning this Fletcher trying to kill him with high explosive and as you can see it was very effective didn't kill him but it was effective and we've already seen his torpedoes but again there is a second destroyer <laughs> hey he's look look there's a Kagero spotted guys what is likely coming from a broadside cat Kagero anybody it, if you guess torpedoes you win the door prize which at this point is a trip to the bottom of the ocean god bless America turn hard this is Japanese on Japanese crime oh and we take three out of the four that's not preferable but we live thank God for that amazing torpedo uh, belt on Japanese battleships that, that was pretty pretty nasty but we got away with it now again there are four people left there are no reason there is no reason to cap the base right now literally none you're already drawing the man back he's coming back he wants a fight and I'm about to give him everything he can handle and then some I'm in a moggy man I am not scared of a Colorado at all yes he has 16 inch guns as well as I do but the difference between the Amagi and the Colorado is the Amagi can take the hit Colorado tends to give citadels really does uh, now don't get me wrong I've killed many of Amagi and many of Iowa in my Colorado but that don't give the side of my ship all that often unless I know I have the advantage and I don't generally take too many rounds for it now you can see this is one of those times where I look back and I'm like dude uh, you don't need to cap right now it's literally a 4v1 we have the guy in sight he's coming back to us no reason to cap go ahead and get out of the cap and what does the guy do he just sits in the cap why why and the worst part is I'm shooting at the Colorado somebody else is shooting at the Colorado we get some decent hits not doing a whole lot of damage so far but again I look back and I'm like dude you have full you are full health in a battleship there's one battleship left and you're sitting in the cap what are you doing <laughs> but you know maybe he had one of those ops up where they have to cap the bases I don't know but we get one last shot before the base gets capped and we get a nice citadel unfortunately it wasn't a multiple citadel or we'd have killed him <laughs> and that would have been the ultimate like you know finger to the to the teammate over there capping the base would have just killed him and then ended the match right there would have been hilarious but didn't manage to pull it off but we still ended up having a pretty solid game 148,000 damage lots of torpedoes launched at us five citadels top of the leaderboard not bad so if you like what I'm doing punch the like button leave a comment below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always I will see you in the next video